Do it like this, beloveds, and I'll touch on some things I know some of you are worried about. Has she learned? We will go to the authority on this. As this is me up here and with you. And then it is in my hand. But now I have written unto you not to keep company. If any man that is called a brother be a fornicator or covetous or an idolater or a railer or a drunkard or an extortioner with such and no one and one no not to eat. For what have I to do to judge them also that are without. Do not ye judge them that are within, but them that are without God judgeth. Therefore put away from among yourselves that wicked person. Dare any of you having a matter against another go to law before the unjust and not before the saints? Ah. That would say, <clears throat> no, she has not changed. Your glorying is not good. Know ye not that a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened. For even Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. All of this happened so by her i of course am discussing the modern christian church now can any of you tell me the church has changed or is it still exactly how it was before I fulfilled all righteousness and kept Passover. So then we see right there, the issue that happened in my marriages, the very gift of salvation proclaimed to the world through my followers is what divided my kingdom marriages. What I've been trying to help many of you with because I went through it with you. When my marriages were attacked, you were attacking me. <clears throat> I went through it and I used this channel and I received different comments and I tested the spirit in each comment. And they came to me in different forms. Some, that sounds pretty biblical, but I have this against you. I am God. I see up here, and I look through these eyes because I am He who is up here. So then I said, where are you getting these ideas from that I am somehow not being led by the Holy Spirit, which is not possible. A claim no one else can make except I put evidence in front of you. So then I said, you must be seeing things through a different lens. And that idea giving lens is a spirit. 
And that spirit is coming against what I'm doing, and I am the Christ. But you are saying you came sent by me. And it took a while, and I have video of it, all my evidence led by me up here through all of the steps. Me up here is loving every moment of this. <sighs> I'm gonna allow you to exhaust all of your opinions. I'm going to allow you to go to anyone you want to. I'm going to allow you to see anything and make it whatever you want it to be. I have never underestimated the human ability to do absolutely nothing, but expect results from that. Then I'm going to simply go to my own words. <clears throat> Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord? I have heard what the prophets said, that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in thy heart? In the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies. Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. Now I had said, we are making YouTube videos. We are focused on our marriage. That is what the body of Christ is doing. You are worshiping Baal. That might as well be the name of the God of your church system now. So you had your little soldiers The only difference was there is nothing new under the sun. The difference was me and my people were doing my father's will. <clears throat> so many of the lukewarm Christians that are coming to me are forgetting that I remember that time where you told one of mine God told me that's not your spouse. Knowing that you were doing it because you wanted that spouse. Knowing you were intentionally deceiving someone because in that moment you were getting what you wanted. Knowing that you were deceiving my children. So that's one group of prodigals. There's always going to be prodigals that simply have no accountability or desire to actually do the work. Now, in the gospel, it was funny to me because I have entire parables of telling people, when I return, and I have, I'm going to have no problem with casting Christians into outer darkness. Entire parables about it. But there were doctrines of once saved, always saved. You are saved by grace because you have faith in Jesus Christ is one of your doctrines. 
So you have grace to have faith. Whereas the scripture says, every man is dealt a measure of faith. The heavens declare my glory so that man is left with no excuse. So you are saved by faith. Whereas I said, only those that do the will of my Father will enter the kingdom of heaven. Unless your righteousness exceeds that of the Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Those are my exact words. So the kingdom of heaven, and it was stated, is upon you. I did say that. That is in the videos as well. Many of you are saying, Lord, I am going to stop not following you if you don't do something about this. Now, my people, they are enthralled because we have sat down. I have sat down with my angels. I have sat down with my prophets who are one and the same. My elect. And then I pinpointed, wait. There is the elect that was deceived. And I came up with kingdom marriage. Easy fix for all of this. Two is better than one. The man can't do anything without a woman. A woman can't do anything without the man. In order to thrive, you must have your spouse to experience life to the full, is what I said. I have video of that. That was a conclusion. Me up here told me here, who told Mary the same exact thing. <clears throat> we had a whiteboard and everything. It was very presidential and presidential, presidential, scholarly, and piece by piece, every single day we would wake up. I would be in prayer. Here's what the spirit told me, babe. I would show her in the scripture. My wife said, okay. <clears throat> now I have no doubt your prodigal had emphasis on had admirers and people that they leaned on and tried to get advice from. I also know that when someone has a demon, you cannot communicate with that person. The demon lays low as long as they are around its kind. Someone with the true Holy Spirit, they all stare right at you. So you not being in the picture with your prodigal left your prodigal vulnerable. So both of you need to realize one thing that you have forgotten. You have all sinned against me. Your salvation was the gift I gave you so that you saw things through my eyes. This is how I was able to determine and judge. And this is why in scripture I said, the father has given it to me to judge because I am the son of man. The scripture says, one who is like the son of man the Son of Man being Jesus, Jesus being God, who is like God, the name Michael. Case closed. <clears throat> As scripture is fulfilled before you in your hearing and your visual. So that I understand that there were two sides, this left me 
with the gift of saying, All of the things that you read or hear from my prophets, because it resonates when you have the true Holy Spirit. So many of my kingdom spouses don't realize my prodigals have learned to utilize my prophets and they have been trying to feel out how my kingdom spouses feel rather than simple obedience. And one thing I did learn about Christians, <clears throat> you will find any way possible to get around doing what I already told you to do. And one thing I was teaching your prodigals, you're not going to get a response from me until you do what I told you to do. The reason for this, it floods you with too much confirmation. So I got back from my appointment, <clears throat> looked on the wall, there's Gyra, right there in their copier room, in their copier room, in their copier room. So that, of course, me being led by the Holy Spirit there, it connected. This is where I'm supposed to be. This is who I am. Then I take my step for the day. Teaching your prodigal that it's never worth it to try and go around me because I am the door. No man comes to the Father except through me because I am the Father. And then explaining to people, this is the true definition of what you call the Trinity. Lord. <clears throat> Hear, O Israel, the Lord is one. So then fulfilling all of the messianic prophecies, having the right bloodline that goes to the Levant where it all started, Galilee, <clears throat> to have this church for you where you can receive your answers. But seeing as there is wave after wave of prodigal and it will always be that way, they will simply have to wait until after our weddings. My uh, prophets have already shifted into a role of supporting a certain group of prodigals that fell away. What's going to happen with your prodigals admirers? They have already fallen away, but they had the false leadings that they agreed with because they were of that spirit. So removing the power from the church and removing the devil's power, as I did, <clears throat> they have no spirit to draw them back to me. And 
me up here does not plan on drawing them back. This leaves your prodigal in the position that I said they would be in. I will not speak to you except through your spouse. The reason for that, you are my child and I want you to trust your spouse above anybody else but me up here. So you will lose patience. You will lose all of the fruits of the spirit day by day. But it will be your choice. Now, why this had to happen is you are going to have your own ministry. And I do not want you corrupted and receiving false direction from what we have determined a bad tree, which would be the American church system. <clears throat> I want you fully committed to me up here. This makes you a super couple. This makes you powerful because you have given up the unsatisfying life that you ran back to. And your kingdom spouse becomes your hero because you are my hero. There was the little tiny bit that I am not going to lose. And I said, I will not lose one. So your prodigal is that one. <clears throat> you two have to talk it out. And that's what you're doing right now. I set in motion for you to receive that text message. I got back from the appointment. I just opened up the door to opportunities for you up to and including different avenues of revenue. Where my spirit is, there is freedom. And once I do one thing in this vessel, it happens across the earth for you. <laughs> So the heavens will be declaring my glory. Things will be occurring across the earth. And remember what separates you from me is simply you. That is what sin is. When you just tell me I'm not doing that. Well, you don't stay still. You go on a different path. And that path is why you are where you are. Rejoice rather that you hear my voice and that I have all of this set up for you. And that's grace. You are saved by my blood. You are saved because I allow you to come into my spirit. And for a long time, this war happened in me. To clean you up and to teach you mistakes are okay. You look at it simply, you had a birthday. You could have had that with your spouse. You had a Christmas. You could have had that with your spouse. 
You had a Valentine's Day. You could have had that with your spouse. You had a Thanksgiving. You could have had that with your spouse. You could have celebrated Passover. You could have done all of these things with me. Because I have been and I remain in your kingdom spouse. Because the two of you gathered together are my church. One more. <clears throat> they should answer all these questions here. <clears throat> and the angel said unto him, and the angel said unto him, and the angel said unto him, Gird thyself and bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he saith unto him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. And he went out and followed him, and wist not that it was true, 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 which was done by the angel. So you prodigals are released from your self-imposed prison. And we feel sufficient lessons have been learned and you're going to do much better this time that's what a good father does surrender your will to me and after that you belong to your spouse that is where you're going to get your advice your counsel because your kingdom spouse knows the difference between, wait, I'm speaking for the Lord, this is his child, and this is serious, and how to simply be themselves with you. Marriage, beloveds. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you.